Hey, Buck, you ready for dinner? Hi, big boy. I wish I would have got it. He was kind of running. He was walking really, really fast coming here. Ah, and I just sat down. I just put the corn in his bucket. I added more water to his bucket because his water was like half down. So I added more. Somebody's excited looking their lips. You ready? Were you running? You look tired. Were you running? Yeah, you excited? You ready? Come on. It looks like he was running. He's got his dinner here, and I got him a fig, the rest of his dinner. Come on. You got apples, look. It's okay. It looks like he's smiling. His face always looks like he's smiling. It's so cute. You look so cute, Buck. You ready? Come on. Okay. dinner today at grocery shopping i bought the little ones their own peanuts it's gonna be plain peanuts not the mixed peanuts but they'll be happy the little ones are usually happy with whatever they get it's buck he's the picky one so that's why i always buy the special peanuts for him right you ready come on come on big boy i know you're hungry look so you got apples you got apples, come on. I know, you're excited. And I already have a mosquito by me, get away. Ah, it got a little warmer out today. A little warmer, there's a few mosquitoes out. Not too many, but I see like one here and there and I keep blowing them off of me. Come on. He's got nice, fresh, red apples, all sliced up. There's two apples in there sliced. So somebody's excited. Oh, this mosquito won't leave me alone. Of course not. Here, let me move some of the apples. Okay. And Buck knows that for dinner time, he gets more food. So when he's done with this, he'll stand by his bucket and stare at me like, okay, pour the rest of the food into my bucket. <laughs> right, big boy? Today for dinner, I had to call him. It's funny because this morning, I didn't have to call him for breakfast. He actually came on his own. And usually in the mornings, I have to call him. But this morning, he came on his own. And for dinner time, he's usually always on time. And I had to call him today for dinner. But he came quick when I called him. I literally only said, I'm sorry, guys. I just had to fix the camera. Yeah, I only had to call him like one time, two times. And then he came. Here. He has whiskers. That sometimes I don't want his whiskers to get caught. Give me kisses. There you go. Damn, Buck, you ate those apples quick. Holy moly. Sometimes he eats the apples so fast that he makes them look like I literally only cut up like one apple or a half an apple the way how fast he eats them. Look at that. You done already? You done? No nibbling. Sometimes I feel him nibbling on my wedding, my wedding band. He always tries to bite it. Okay, baby. You want me to give this to you by hand? Or you want it in your bucket? It's up to you. I'll give it in your bucket? All right. It's a fig. I guess I'll put it in your bucket with the rest. I just split it in half. But thank God I have a paper towel in my pocket to wipe my hands. Come here, big boy. Come on. Look. You got the rest of the stuff over here. I'm trying to show him the rest of his food before I dump it. All right, I guess we're gonna just dump. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit, Buck. Let me help him grab this bowl and stick it in here before the ants decide to like attack the bowl. Oh my God, when I never used to bring the bucket like outside with me at all times, like now, even if I don't have to put water in his bucket, I still bring it out just to stick the bowl in there like that. Because if I put that bowl on the ground, forget it. It literally takes only like five minutes and you see a million ants like crawling all inside the bowl, outside of the bowl. So that's why I always bring that bucket out with me. Even if I don't have to put water in his bucket, I'll bring it out. You know, I always put, I literally always, every day, spring, summer, and fall, I usually always add either ice cubes to his water. 
by dinner time or a little bit more extra water into his bucket. Like this evening, I had, a, I had to add extra water to fill up his bucket again. So it's, it's not full, full all the way to the top, but it's pretty full. He'll have like enough water to, like that he'll be good through the night and tomorrow morning. Cause like I said, when it's in the fall, Buck doesn't drink a lot, a lot, like the way he does in the summer. He'll take a couple sips here and there. Like tonight, there's probably not gonna be no food in the bucket, you know, cause he's gonna eat all of it now. He'll come up just to drink and just to look around. Like I usually catch him on the trail cam, like standing here, looking around. Like he thinks I'm gonna pop up at night to feed him. <laughs> He'll literally stand here and just look around for a little bit, drink his water and then leave. I'm like, boy, don't you be looking around thinking I'm gonna pop up at like 11, 12 o'clock at night. Like no way. Imagine I would get him used to that where he would come at night too. Mm -mm. That would be crazy. But I would never walk here late at night because the raccoons take over this spot at night. Like they come, like the whole family comes. Not that I'm scared of them, but you know raccoons, they could be vicious too. So I wouldn't want to be hanging out here at night where I can't really, where everything is like black. Like inside there, it's dark that you can't see nothing. Uh-uh. I would not want to be sitting here. And I sat with him over here. I sat with him at the spot. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. <laughs> I sat here with him at the spot up till like 8, 8.30 p.m. Where it got really dark. Like it started getting dark in the summer nights. And that's when the raccoons started coming out, I remember. That I was like, all right, Buck, I got to go. But Buck always like made sure that they didn't come next to me. He literally will protect me Especially, he must have felt my vibes, how I got, like, anxious and a little nervous when I seen all the raccoons walking up the hill. He definitely must have felt my vibe because I would never, I, and I have a video of it, too. I think I did post it on YouTube. I think I definitely did. It was definitely during, like, the dinner video last year, like, my summer v dinner video. Literally, he puts his body right next to the fence and stays so close to me to make sure, like, that, you know, that they don't come close to me because he started sensing that he probably seen my reaction and my like you know he could probably pick up my vibes that i was getting nervous when they were coming really close so buck he could pick up my vibes you know like if i'm like nervous happy sad like he could pick, he'll pick it up quick really really quick what are you doing big boy i don't know what he's smelling But uh, it's beautiful out. Just a little, we've got a little warm today. Not hot, not like scorcher and hot or anything. Just a little on the warmer side where it made the mosquitoes, you know, and the bugs come out. But it's not like hot, super hot outside. Just, I mean, it's beautiful. It feels like, honestly, it feels like 70 degrees outside. Maybe like 71, like that. Like that's what it feels like. It's not so, so bad. It's not, it's beautiful. It's actually really beautiful out. I just wish it was just a tiny bit cooler where the mosquitoes probably would have left. But I don't want to wish too soon because I know once November hits, that's when it starts getting like cool, cold. <laughs> that's when the weather starts like getting like chilly. So that's why I'm not going to, oh, I just seen the lantern fly, literally just passed by. But it went on his side, I don't know where. I want the spray with the spray and I just got on my arm from the mosquito. I keep forgetting to wear that bracelet and I literally keep it in my hallway where I could just grab it on my way out. But then I think in my head, I'm like, okay, in the morning, if I don't see that many mosquitoes out, it shouldn't be that bad, like, you know, around this time. Because the weather with the mosquitoes, it's not like they come out every day, you know? Like, there's some days I, I don't even see no mosquitoes at all and it'll be a nice, cool day, like a little chill in there. The sun will be shining. There'll be no mosquitoes. I thought today was going to be that day, but it's not. Today's that, that day that there's mosquitoes out. I threw seeded bread, but I threw it all down the hill. I think there's only one piece. No, not even. None of the pieces landed up here. Because sometimes uh, one piece or two pieces will land, like, up here. But I make sure now to get that bread, like out away from here just in case if it does attract ratatouille's to come you know they could hang out down there get them away from here 
So I did throw seeded bread. I threw a handful of corn because I know the squirrels, they love eating the corn. And that's it. I was going to bring some peanuts out with me for like the squirrels and just in case if a chipmunk would have came. Because the other day, I think it was yesterday, for dinner time, Simon came. But none of the little ones are around right now. So I wonder if there was like hawks out here like soon, recently. Where that's why all the little ones are hiding. I don't know. I don't even see a squirrel in sight. Buck is the only one that doesn't have to be scared of the hawks. Wow, he ate the fig and everything. And I put some acorns in there too. I don't think he likes the little acorns. Now he's waiting here like if he's getting more food. Look at him. Look at you. Were you waiting thinking you're going to get more? And I want to know where did that lantern fly go? I don't see it. I just hope it's not nowhere close because I hate them. I hate those lantern flies. They freak me out. I know they don't do nothing to us, but still. And you know, when they open up their wings, they have the red inside of their wings. It actually looks pretty. But it's sad that those flies, the lantern flies, you know, they're not good for, they're not good for like woody areas and forests because I heard they could kill trees. Something about them. I didn't really do my research too much on them, but I heard that they kill trees. Something that they do to the trees that over time they can make trees like die out or plants. Buck is giving me his tushy. <laughs> but he always, I don't know if you guys remember, this is something Buck always does, standing like that. Usually he'll stand like right here. Remember when he used to stand right here with his butt in my face and he'll be staring over there? Kind of like he's like, I got your back, mom. And I got his back. Like, I noticed one thing about Buck, and it kind of it makes me feel good to know, you know, that... Ugh, this mosquito. Like, when he's standing like that with his back towards me, he barely turns around. Barely, like, to look back. Because he knows that I'm behind him. So he's probably thinking in his head, like, okay, my mom has my back. Like, she's watching me. She's protecting my back. So he feels safe, you know? I love it, but it makes me feel good. To know that you know he feels so comfortable and safe around me and that's what i always wanted him to feel i can't believe in january the year 2025 it's gonna be it's crazy because it's gonna be five years that buck's been coming every day morning and night well, morning and evening. <laughs> well, he comes here through the night, too. Because when I, I checked the trail cam, like I said, he honestly comes here, like, throughout the day. It looks like he comes, like, every, probably every hour and a half to two hours, he comes up here to the spot. That's what it looks like. So Buck is always close by. He never stays far from here. He's a good boy. And I know he's not fully in rut yet. Not yet, he's not in rut yet. I could tell when he gets into rut. He'll start marking more. It's so quiet outside. All right, guys. I will be back. I was gonna say later. Oh my god, I was gonna mess up again. I did that the other day. <laughs> I did my video, my dinner video. I was like, all right, guys, I'll be back later. And in my head, I was like, wait, this is the last video of the day. So I'll be back tomorrow morning, which will be Buck's Sunday morning breakfast. I hope everybody has a great weekend and a great evening and an awesome good night. And me and this big boy, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's foraging on probably green leaves that my father-in-law throws there for him. Because that's the spot where my father-in-law throws, like, the trimmings from the bushes. Because he knows that Buck will eat them. So that's probably why he's there. I always look at the spider web. It's like a thick, thick spider web. Look at that. I don't know what kind of spider lives there, but that's something thick. If I was a bird, I would be careful landing in that. I mean, 
where I live, we're not known to have any big spiders like the size of our hands. It's not like Australia, you know? Australia has like bird eating and spiders and so we don't have that here where I live. So it can't be something too, too big. Whatever it is, it just, it worked really good on that web. Shake it off, good boy. Go eat your corn, you still have corn in your bucket or you don't want no more. You can save it for later, whatever you wanna do. All right, everyone. I will be back tomorrow morning. Yeah, he's probably gonna finish his dinner now. Yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow morning for another video. I hope everybody has a good night and ciao for now. Me and Buck will be back soon.